Welcome back to another episode of the Cody Tucker Show. As always, I'm your host, Cody Tucker. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest, the one and only Miss Lindsay Ryder. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Could not be better. Been looking forward to this. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. Hell yeah. And uh, so before we kick into things, anything you'd like to plug, promote, where can people find you? All that good stuff. Um, well, I'm on uh, Twitter as Lindsay, L-I-N-Z-E-E, uh, XXX. And I'm on my backup account on Instagram. So <laughs> it's yeah. uh, Ryder Backup. And then OnlyFans, I'm on OnlyFans, of course. Hold it. I'm on everywhere. Everywhere, just search for Lindsay Ryder. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, because you'll get a fake account. So uh I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if if you have a decent amount of common sense, you'd be able to figure out yeah. if you're looking at the right person. So you would think. <laughs> you would think that I mean, obviously being called common sense is a bit of an oxymoron, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah. No, so when did you start like in the adult film industry? Like how long uh, have you been doing it? 2019, which was like okay. five. Oh, I'm going on five years right now. Jesus, that is five years ago. I there that's was, so. <laughs> that's so crazy. In my head, when you said 2019, I was like, oh, really? Just like two years? And then <laughs> <laughs> holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. Time is flying. I, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> God. How many scenes have you done in that amount of time? Oh. Like God. you keep count? Uh no, I don't keep count, but yeah. I wanna say. 40 but it's probably been i don't know i don't know that's quite a yeah damn that's crazy because you've i mean just kind of blown up you know like a pretty well i would say like that you know which it's got to be hard like the amount of people who get into the porn industry versus the ones who are able to kind of break through that like initial you know layer like yeah. it's, I mean, it's so weird because it seems random, but it's not random because obviously like you work hard. So that has a huge part in it. And there's got to be a part of you that like becomes like a, you know, uh, desirable to like people who want to watch porn. Like, yeah, I mean, it's just do you ever think like, I mean, I wonder like what it is like, why did I kind of break through and other people don't? Yeah. So I think that there's a lot of. um <sighs> it's good to have a really good agent so you weed through you know the not so professional stuff and then um also i got started when i was 35 um i'm 40 now so i feel like when i started like the the um the whole like milf thing and like being a stepmom and all that was like really getting really big i don't know maybe it was bigger before that even but um I think I just got in at the right time at the right age and yeah. probably the boobs don't, <laughs> they don't <laughs> hurt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's got a, yeah, it plays a pretty big role in it. I would say, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it, well, it, made in myself, I guess I would say it that way. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, in fitting it, I mean, fitting into that kind of niche is mm -hmm. gotta be a big part of it. Cause that, I mean, obviously that's been a huge thing for a while. Like, you know, people being yeah. into MILF porn. For, I mean, speaking for, uh, you know, for myself, it's usually my go-to. And I mean, and it, I think it is for a lot of people. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I mean, I think it is for a lot of people. Like for some yeah. reason, like that's like kind of our thing, which I've always had a thing for like older women. That's always been like, uh, yeah. Like I know a lot of dudes that are, I mean, I'm only 30. I'm still like decently young, but I know yeah. a lot of people in my age group who were going back down, like, like dating girls who were like just now 20 or 21. I'm like, ah, oh. that's so fucking weird to me. <laughs> that's weird to you. Yeah. It shouldn't be. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was, just, it's just like a huge, I don't know why, but like a huge um, thing. Do you know why? Like, or it's just something that you just have been into like, Hmm. like you said like i can't pinpoint it to like a certain time or like a certain person i just it's just always been the way i think because i just grew up watching like i didn't really grow up watching cartoons i grew up watching like regular shit like regular tv shows regular movies so seeing like older women in those movies and i always thought like the mom on the sitcom was way hotter than the daughter oh wow okay. yeah even whenever i was a kid like i'd watch like 
the Cosby show, which, uh, you know, but and <laughs> I mean, that's a tough one because Lisa Bonet is super attractive. But like I'd watch those or um, Married with Children and like uh, always thought the mom was hot. Like I was like, that's the hot one. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird. I don't know where the fuck that comes from. Okay. I mean, it's just a thing. I mean, everybody's yeah. got their. I always was into like older men. So I just put myself in that and I'm like, well, I like that because they're like take charge and like, you know, like uh, uh, more dominate than yes. like or whatever. I don't know, but who knows? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a huge reason why. Cause I think that's the kind of the same for me because I've always been pretty turned off by um, like low confidence or just like people who don't know what they want in general. And there's okay. something about like older women that are like will take fucking charge. And that is, yeah. Yeah. yeah that'll get me, that'll get me there real quick. Okay. I'm, yeah. Like, cause I'm, I'm a pretty laid back kind of um, pretty slow moving fella, you know, if you can't already tell. Uh, so I like somebody who's pretty domineering, you know, like I like a big personality. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's where a lot of it yeah. comes from. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's so interesting. So this is the, I mean, you told me this is going to be the last year that you shoot mainstream. Yeah. Is there like a certain reason why or just? I wanted to do it for five years. Um, mm -hmm. I'm in my fifth year. I'm 40 years old. I feel like this is a great time to just kind of like, you know, go to the next, the next step in my life or whatever. So, so what's the next step? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> what i'm gonna do after this but i'll figure it out <laughs> yeah for sure i was thinking yeah. about like travel blogging and like having like you know like a travel thing because I, I love to travel i just i'm just trying to find things that like i am going to enjoy doing that's a good route that's a good route to go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. travel's always a good one food anything like that always fucking i mean you get people pretty easily with stuff like that yeah that's a good one yeah, that's interesting. So you just set up like a five year plan of like, I want to do this for five years, see what happens. And then like, yeah. was there a thought of like, well, if I still want to do it after five years, I'll keep doing it. Or did you feel pretty concrete on that being the limit? It was, yeah, it was pretty concrete. But honestly, I'm going to miss it. And I'm like, do I really need this job? <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I feel like that's a great time. I'm going to at least try like see what it, you know. Yeah. Uh, I might, I might still do like my own stuff. Yeah. And I do a lot of like phone calls on like Sex Panther that I enjoy doing and stuff like that. And my only fans, but yeah. So you'll keep that going. I mean, yeah. like the only fans and things like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like a full break. It's just a full, it's a break from like doing Main mainstream content. Yeah. 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 Mainstream. Gotcha. And my goal was always to, um, to like do, featuring feature dancing because i started off as a, a stripper so okay. I, would, and I would hit like see the features come in and um i was that was always my goal so i was like oh i'll make a name for myself in porn and then i'll get some featuring and i did that and i enjoyed it yeah yeah so i feel like i've i've made what i came here uh you know when i came into the industry i've i've done so yeah yes yeah, so you don't feel like you're like leaving something behind or like missing out on something necessarily like it's it's like well, you, i never got my blow bank but <laughs> well there's always time i mean the year's not over so <laughs> I'm, I'm, i would you know i mean obviously i'm no agent or anything but i imagine you could probably work that out pretty easily uh, yeah. I, I don't know i guess i haven't told my yeah maybe i should tell my agent that's why i wanted to yeah could be why it doesn't happen. I mean, you know, I'm not in the industry or anything, but I imagine that's how it works. So, yeah, that's yeah. So that would is that kind of like your bucket list thing of like the one thing that you haven't done that you still would like to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hell of a goal. I mean, you got, you got lofty, <laughs> lofty goals for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So how many people? How many does it take for it to be considered? A blow bank. I know, yeah, I know. Some people are, oh, it needs to be like 40 guys, and then some are like, it needs to be five. Let me tell you, that was not the number I was <laughs> thinking. Yeah, I mean, you don't need three quarters of an NFL team for it to <laughs> count. God, yeah, I was thinking because it can't be, it's got to be four, 
You think so? Because there has to be somebody standing around not getting attention for yeah. it to count. Because, you know, you got three, two hands mouth. You know, you're, I mean, yeah. I don't want to act it out or anything, but, you know, <laughs> you, you know, you're occupied at all times. There's, no, but you got to have that one guy who's just standing there being like, God damn, like, when's <laughs> when, it my turn? Yeah. 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 yeah you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all you need is four dudes. But I don't do, I don't do anal. So I guess it could be three. <laughs> well, wait. Well, you don't need it. No, you just have the four and you have, I mean, because if it's a book. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I thought you meant like one in each hole and then one waiting. No, I meant, no, actually, but I mean, that's a fair <laughs> point. Yeah, no, I meant one, like if it's just like a like blowing, then you got one in each hand and one in the old, you know, oh, in the okay. mouth. So you yeah, got I the two and the one. Wait. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you're occupied, but then you got one fellow who's standing back there like, waiting to tag in i'm getting confused with a blow or a gang bang <laughs> wait so are you thinking right? say, I, yeah yeah yeah. I, oh no i don't know what i'm thinking guys because a, a blow like, bang i believe i mean unless i'm wrong which <laughs> look i i've got i don't i think my search history is usually pretty accurate like <laughs> like whenever i type in something i get what i'm looking for a blow bang is usually i believe just all all oh, mouth and hands, yeah, you know. Yes, yes. So, so yeah, then yeah. when I was thinking of like all the holes filled, that's a gang bang. Exactly. So is that what you're wanting, or the blow bang? No, the blow bang. Okay, but gotcha. I'd, I'd be happy with a bang, a gang bang too. Who wouldn't? Yeah, I would, I'd be happy with a bang. I'd be happy. With <laughs> yeah, really, anything is better yeah. than nothing, you know. <laughs> Although I'll say there have been times where I think like just kind of taking care of it yourself is better. It's just yeah. easier and more yeah. like, yeah, there, there have been a few times I'm just like, maybe I should just do this myself. <laughs> I mean, I know myself better than anyone else does. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Like, actually, I think it's a Woody Allen quote, which well, oh, yeah. probably, probably shouldn't be quoting Woody Allen, but whatever. Um, he has a quote that like, people shouldn't make fun of masturbation because it's having sex with the person you love the most. <laughs> Amen, brother. I mean, I don't agree with a lot of Woody Allen's takes, but what's you know. going on with Woody Allen? I don't know about Woody Allen. Well, controversial. A teeny bit. I mean, the guy was kind of, you know, married his stepdaughter, which is oh, okay. Yeah, who she was like a little kid whenever they, you know, isn't so like he didn't okay. adopt her. It was his ex-wife, Mia Farrow from Rosemary's Baby. She used to be married to Frank Sinatra. Um, and then allegedly he also was doing some stuff to, uh, another one of the kids when they were kids, which. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fuck Woody Allen. Yeah. And his movies suck. You know, like some people kind of get a pass cause they're good at what they do. His movies are boring as shit. So no, <laughs> no, inexcusable. What are some Woody Allen movies? Uh, Annie Hall would be like the most popular. Just came out in 79, I believe. Um. It's actually not that bad, I guess. Um, you know, a midnight in Paris. That I mean, I, I, I'll be honest. I don't think you're gonna know most. Okay. He, apparently, he makes like a movie a year. I can't name five Woody Allen movies, and he's okay. been making movies for like fifty fucking years. Okay. Crazy. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's <laughs> that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, you would recognize him for sure. But and he looks like the type of guy that would do the things we're talking yeah. about. So. It's creepy. Yeah. So if Woody Allen ever hits you up for a meetup, now you know. <laughs> just just say no. <laughs> I, I'm not his type, so I won't have um, to worry. About that. Exactly. What I was, <laughs> yeah, you aged out about uh thirty <laughs> years ago. So yeah, yeah. Which oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, shucks. Yeah. So we were talking about because I mean I have to ask about this because I am. Whether I like admitting it or not, I don't know. I'm a massive fan of 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> and I guess this kind of goes in line with what we're talking about. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, exactly. So yeah. I did not know about any of this shit with you and uh, old Gino from 90 Day Fiance, which anyone who's watched, who's watched like recently 90 Day Fiance is going to know who the fuck we're talking about. Um, I. So I remember them talking about that, like he got caught watching porn and it was like an ex's porn. And I was in my head, I was just thinking like, it's just some random person. I did not know it was you 
that <laughs> that they were talking that you're the the person which um i found out kind of recently and was like oh this is going to be interesting so how does how does that happen like i mean <laughs> you just he um he was on seeking arrangement a long time ago we met okay. the same way that they met <laughs> So. Yeah, what a shock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. And he was like sending did you know about that? Like he the the text messages. Uh I texted her to let her know that he was sending me her nude photos and like all these photos and videos and stuff. I'm like, I didn't watch the videos, but I just thought you should know. Like he's sending me this stuff and like I, you know, texted her about it and or I mean messaged her, DM'd, and she just went off at me. She went on you, calling me a whore, telling me I'm old, ugly, I have no ass, like all this stuff. I'm like, holy, sh you didn't know about that part? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Look, I, you know, I love that show, and I love so. Huh? Have you ever seen Love After Lockup? That show's even messier. <laughs> no, but that trust me, that that show has been recommended to me so yeah. many times, and it's like. 90 day fiance for the shit show that it is oh, people love love I'm it watching it i love that kind of stuff i love watching yeah. something go off the rails but i also like seeing it work like 90 day fiance i like seeing people who genuinely like give a shit about each other and want this stuff to work they just happen to be from other countries yeah. but then there's some like old gino who <laughs> um really feel like they are just both swindling each other yeah. And I don't know if that's necessarily the case because obviously I don't know these people at all. I'm just seeing what I'm seeing on TV. But there's also never – I don't think in the history of television there's been a more annoying person to be shown to the world than <laughs> Gino. I mean, she's pretty annoying too. But yeah. oh my God. Like how, you know, how you like can be around them is just amazing. Like you just go into like a Zen meditation or – I don't know. I blocked that part out of my memory. <laughs> Probably for the best. Is you know the voice is something that I think you just will never get blocked out of anyone's memory. Like that that shit has been ingrained. Hmm. Panama, Panama. Oh my god, Panama. I, Panama. God, or just it's just like the sad face, just the and the, and then just now, now, now. <laughs> Like I, it, like you're always yelling at me. It it bothers me so much, and I should. I mean, you know, but that is amazing. So we're we're, um, we're meeting up in just a few days. For what? I mean, for like a. He's he told me that he was sorry for the stuff that he said, and uh, about me in public, and he was just mad because I said mean things about him on blogging sites. What did you say? <laughs> uh, nothing that wasn't true. Nothing that wasn't true. I'll say that. Well, much, but okay, that's <laughs> out there. If you gotcha. Really uh, gotcha. But, uh, so and then he was like, "Do you want to meet for?" Oh, he said they have shocking news, and do you want to meet? And I'm like, "Oh God, we'll see where this goes." So like a divorce. I mean, a divorce. That's yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Or well, or he's lying about a divorce so that he could try to, you know get with you which seems to be i mean if i'm just you know putting myself in his mind which is not a great idea but um yeah that is amazing so is that so that's like a thing that you do like decently often or just kind of every once in a while oh um no i don't do that anymore really like oh, I'm, okay i'm thinking arrangement now it's all like cheap ass guys that, i mean more genos <laughs> You see, Gino doesn't come across like a fellow that's really got a whole lot of, you know, but maybe so. He he likes to talk about it, having it, but yeah, I don't know. yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, whenever they brought her into his house, you know, and I didn't really feel sorry for her too much. I mean, I guess I kind of did because she's leaving Panama um, and then going to Michigan, which has to be the <laughs> worst uh, awakening ever. I mean, to leave, which I don't know how Panama really is, but. It can't be, it can't be worse than fucking Michigan. Oh yeah. I don't think any place. Things worse than 
<laughs> and I'm from Michigan, and I love. Michigan. Oh, shit. sorry. Or in, in the winter, there's nothing worse than Michigan. It's freezing. Oh. Gray, and our winters last forever, but our summers are very beautiful. I will say. Yeah, they must be because that was a point of contention on this past season that uh, he didn't fill out her paperwork because um, it was summer and he didn't want to waste the summer. Oh and my in, God. It, <laughs> in my head, I was like, "Wow, well, that's." Because yeah, a- you know what? That fuck that. Fuck him. I, I. This is exactly why I told. Like, I tried to warn her about that. He does this kind of shit. Like, that's fucked up. That's yeah. yeah. If it's true, I mean, who knows? Who knows what's true and what's not? But. Yeah, it just seems it seems super manipulative or, or just like, and I, you know, and of course, like she's not with that controlling, dude. Controlling. Yeah, very control. Well, yeah, because you can bring someone from another country who has kids back in that other country, which automatically makes it so much more intense. Yeah. But you can bring them here and then just wave it over their head like, yeah. oh, well, I, I have control over your, you know, citizenship. Like that is, oh, that shit just, it gets under my skin. God, because, you know, I would love to bring over about 40 or 50 women just from around the world (laughs) and just start like a little, I mean, I guess you can call it a cult. I mean, eventually (laughs) it'll get called that, Um, but you know, that's, you know, a a sort of somewhat of a dream of mine and people like that really ruin it for people like me. Oh man, I'm so sorry for you. (laughs) Oh, it's all right. Trust me. It it wasn't going to happen. Gino (laughs) is not ruining my dream for me. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah god that's so when's the last time you've seen him like in person oh long before they started filming yeah 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 they uh the producer had contacted me and i was like i don't want to be on the show like because i know what the show is it's just a bunch of shit shows for the most part like yes and i don't want to be on there um but i do want to like you know i don't mind getting my name out a little bit so <laughs> i'll talk Amen. about it I don't want to actually be on it. So uh, yeah, see, that's what I was kind of want. I, huh? Yeah. Well, that's what I was kind of, what I was going to ask. Like what I was curious about is if they asked you to ever go on like the reunions or anything like that. Not the, mean, no, it was like when they were first starting and they want like Gino was even like saying that they would like, I, I don't know that I could, uh, you know, the interviews that they do or whatever with the, the friends or family members. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you were going to be one of those. I I could have been, I guess. I mean, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fuck that. I, yeah. I mean, I, I love consuming it, but I would never want to be a part of it. No. And yeah. I'm important. Like, that's bad. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't mind my name on porn, but I don't want my name on 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> my God. Yeah, that's. Um, yeah. Damn. But. Yeah, we 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 met like before I got into the industry uh, through seeking arrangement. I was a stripper, and he was like a pretty um, regular client, I guess you would say. What so. a shot! Yeah, of course. <laughs> Did you have a like your own like a uh, signature song like when you were a stripper? Oh yeah, I pl- I would like dance. I mean, this is kind of silly, but I would dance okay. to a lot like Britney <laughs> uh, and just like poppy music or like Anna in the day, you know, like when that was like, you know, Kesha. Kesha? Yeah, Kesha. Kesha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kesha's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if it was any like, you know, like Def Leppard or like Motley Crue. That's what I think of when I yeah. think of a strip club. Or, oh God, um, what's that? What's that one band um, that everybody hates, but they're like- Nickelback. Yeah, stripper anthems. Nickelback. I would dance to Nickelback. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a Spotify playlist called like stripper anthems. Yeah. And I, you know, I'll just, <laughs> it's, it's fucking good. Every song on there is good. And yeah. I don't like admitting that. I don't like admitting it right now. I feel horrible, but <laughs> it's true. There's just, you know, like pour some sugar on me will always be a great song. No matter how many gentlemen's clubs you hear it. Clubs, that song. Oh, of course. Yeah, like, it, yeah, Girls, Girls, Girls from Molly Crew. That's yeah. another one. I mean. Oh, God, I hate that song because it reminds me of, you know, you've been to strip clubs, right? Where they, like, make the mm-hmm. girls, like, walk around. They call it roll call. They We all get on stage. I, I mean, and Detroit clubs, anyway. Um, okay. On stage and have to walk uh, across, around. And all of us. And it was, like, 
so so uh dehumanizing oh that's so <laughs> that's that like girls 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 <laughs> oh that's so weird yeah like strip clubs are so you know i've actually only been to one strip club in my entire life which oh. yeah i know it's kind of weird i mean i which one? I, oh god it's a strip club called jaguars okay. um yeah and back here in the old hometown and it is not one to really brag about okay to be honest yeah it's um it's pretty rough so like i went and i was already this is like back in the drinking days which are luckily you know in the past but uh yeah. i was already pretty well hammered by the time i got there and it, it just kind of spiraled into a full mess I kind of don't really remember a lot of it, to be honest, but I do remember how I um, smelled the next day. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> what, See. what way? Like you smelled like alcohol or you smelled like vanilla mm. uh, scented like spray? And, like... I wish I smelled like vanilla scented. <laughs> you didn't I smell <laughs> no, I smelled okay. like sweat Ooh. and um, okay. just like stale. Uh, body odors um yeah what? It, it, uh, what what and regrets oh a lot of regrets a lot of regrets actually yeah yeah a uh, a lab dance that uh got oddly weird um yeah it's just a lot of stuff where you're just like i don't i just probably shouldn't be here right now but i would like to go to one that's like a, a nice one because it does seem like it would be fun i mean yeah 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 it's fun i imagine you're more in the nice ones <laughs> yeah. i i worked at all of them i worked at the hole in the wall clubs were like the most fun to work at though because the crazy really and, and <laughs> yeah and honestly like they like uh there's like in in michigan at least there's like the flight club which is like the higher class club i worked there i were and then i worked at the one that's directly across from it if anybody from Michigan hears this, they'll know Bogarts, bottom of the barrel, worst club ever, but it's fun. <laughs> what makes it like, like what separates it? You know what I mean? Is it just like the quality it, of like the people there or? Yeah. And, and like, I would say the, the like higher class or whatever clubs are like more like stuffy and like. You know, there's a dress code. The people have an attitude. Girls, even like the girls work in there, kind of like my shit don't stink kind of attitude. Whereas like um, the clubs that are like uh, on the lower end or whatever, um, they're more like chill, laid back, and like like I said, there was never a dull moment in those clubs. <laughs> oh, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> my God, I actually at one point almost became a uh, an announcer. At yeah, one, I, um, huh? Were you going to be the DJ? D DJ. Yeah. Well, I guess DJ. I mean, they were yeah, just yeah. saying we need somebody to like do like a, uh, not not like even for the full night. It was for like a temporary, like a like a time slot of like, um, doing like a certain thing where I would like announce and like, I don't know, introduce the girls. But I I don't think it was the DJ. I think this was going to be like separate from that. Oh, okay. I didn't get a lot of details. I just, the whole thing sounded real sketchy. And I was like, I don't know. I kind of think I should have done it just to do it. For the experience. <laughs> yeah. And I might actually try to do it now that I'm thinking about it. Fuck it. Why not? Why not work in a strip club for a little bit? I mean, it was kind of a dream of mine as a little kid. And so you'll have fun. Guaranteed. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Like, I, yeah, I would definitely like to try to go to one, like a really nice one and just see mm -hmm. like just the difference. Yeah. This boy, this one. Yeah. Yeah. My God. That's yeah. That's it's so it's just a, such a fascinating world because obviously people look at like porn and like stripping and really anything that involves like sex work. And they always have like just a huge negative look and not everybody, obviously, but like most people just automatically assume like the worst in people. And just from the people that I've met, it's just so it couldn't be further from the truth. Like yeah. most of the people I met are like very nice, very put together. Like, you know, everybody's got their issues. Like, you know, nobody's perfect, but like talking to you, like, you know, you seem all right. Like, like there's, but I'm sure there are people who like say shit to you. Like, Oh like, yeah. I mean, 
do people say stuff to you in person or is it just straight dm like no not really in person no but uh definitely online but i think everybody gets that everybody gets shit talked on online it's so odd things that get sent to me in my dms (laughs) like both bad like horrible mean and then like also like nice but also kind of like every single day like ma'am 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 hi hello hello hi (laughs) i'm like who are you talking to (laughs) and definitely the whore and like slut blah 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 whatever i'm like yeah i am so what (laughs) yeah it's not a bad thing like that's the thing that people (laughs) think like because you know obviously like with the interviewing people who are in porn and like doing the you know podcasts with people in porn every time i post like a clip it's immediately like 90 percent of the comments are like why are you talking to these like hordes and shit i'm like one because they're fucking fun to talk to two don't act like being a whore is a bad thing like it's awesome like why why wouldn't you like one sex is fun everybody enjoys it or else none of us would be here um and you know if you you know can do it and like as a job like why not like it like you're doing like five years i'm doing it then i'm out unless i want to keep going yeah. what the hell how is that a negative at all yeah like uh, yeah that's crazy especially like uh the, the, the thing that's like really crazy to me is that there will be like um they call it the hierarchy of like um Basically, like, when I was a stripper, there was, like, uh, the hierarchy when you worked there that, like, oh, I don't do extras and, like, oh, blah, 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 like, or I I don't do full nude dances or, you know, like, just, like, kind of, like, making yourself feel better about it because you don't do these things and, like, and then talking shit about the girls that do and, like, the same thing goes with, like, if I was to work at a strip club, because I'm porn and porn, they pro- there's girls that will like judge for that, and then there's girls that like are in the porn industry that judge for like any in person work and like just there. It's crazy. Like it's like we're all in this together. We're all sex workers, and like we get talked shit about by the public. Like why would we do it to ourselves? But that is yeah. that that's so inch. I would never have guessed that. So. Yeah. So in a strip club, the people working there. So yeah. is it so is it the more that the more you do, the like less like do people look at you less for that? There's a weird thing, and I feel like it's between girls that work there about if you do uh extras in the club or whatever, which obviously you're not supposed to, but let's come on. Honest, it happens. Yeah. So like and the girls will like look down on the girls that do that and like oh you're only making money because you're sucking dick in the back blah 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 or whatever. yeah and it's like <laughs> what the fuck yeah why but they could do it why, too i mean why does anybody care what other people do with their time their body their like mind like i don't understand it because yeah. i've always been, like do you like whatever whatever you want to do is cool like yeah I don't and mindset well, and you're also not taking money from them. Like right. you're just getting more because you're doing more. Like, yeah. which and is- like that guy that like would do like get dances from extras girls isn't going to get dances from you anyway. And the same with like guys that don't want extras. Well, they're not going to get dances from an extras girl because they don't want that. They just want lap dances. Like, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> see, I see I don't know how anybody just wants a lap dance. I mean, I'm sure there are people who like, that's what they want. Yeah. To me, just like in my own opinion, it sounds miserable. Like (laughs) the idea of just sitting there and not being able to do fucking anything is like, it's like waterboarding to me. (laughs) Like almost (laughs) like I just, I can, could not do that. Like I I did it. Like, you know? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go. Oh, I was, say that i i like getting dances so when i go to strip clubs i love getting like teased and everything like uh that's my favorite things <laughs> i'm with you see i like i do like getting teased like i like the whole idea but i want it to go to something like yeah i'm not a uh like a quickie person if that makes yeah. sense i mean i guess if you know situation calls sure like you know you're in the drive through at 
you know, like McDonald's, you got to go quick. Let's go. But yeah, you know, classy. Um, but like in a normal day, you know, day to day, night to night, whatever. Like I want it to last like a long time, not just like the sex itself, but like the whole experience start to finish. Yeah. So to me, like I ultimately want it all to lead to something. So a lap dance leads to like just walking out with a really uncomfortable boner, which, you know, <laughs> not fun for anyone. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, such an interesting world. Like, it, it's so cool to be able to talk to people who are in it because I do get to, like, learn, you know, like, what it's actually like. The more you learn about it, the more, like, normal it seems, which mm -hmm. I think people don't realize that it's, I mean, it's like a mainstream set doesn't look a whole lot different than a regular, than just a TV show set. Yeah. There's just some penetration, which, you know. Right. Yeah. Like we pay our taxes, like they our receipts. We like do, yeah, like all the like business stuff that like people, yeah, people just think that it's just like taking some photos and posting them on OnlyFans or some shit or like videos. It's like so much more than that. Very yeah. Common. Well, like and so like you shot a. Were you shooting a scene earlier today or just? Yeah. Oh, no, I was shooting content. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. OK. But so like on a day where you are shooting, let's say a mainstream, yeah. you know, content work, like how long does that day last? Like yeah. from you going to the place to you leaving? Tomorrow I have a shoot for Naughty America and we start at ten, my call time to be there is 10 a.m., um, so I have my makeup artist coming cause I want, um, this makeup artist does a really great job. So I want him doing my makeup. So, uh, he's coming at seven in the morning and going to do my hair makeup. Then I take a ride to the set and then I'm there doing, uh, you know, my paperwork for at least half an hour or so. And then we take pretty girl photos where they're mm -hmm. just photos of the girl. Then we take sex stills with photos of me and the guy. And then we have the um the the lines or whatever the the talking and then we go to the video which is not usually not that long but we end up being on set for like i'll probably be there from 10 a.m but then i'm starting at 7 uh 10 a.m until like probably two three probably somewhere around there. Yeah. okay so your day is yeah it's about seven hours roughly. yeah and and then after that i i'm going to a hotel and i booked a, someone professional um to video my customs and then i hop on a plane to go home because it's my my week is over here but jesus cramming as much as i can i just shot my um scene or whatever my content uh mm. today and I've had photo shoots, content shoots, mainstream shoots. Yeah. Yeah, all in a week. That's, I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. I do not think most people know that that's how it, how your day is. Yeah. Like, like the average person, or especially the person who like shits on you for being important. I guarantee you, they don't know that that's what it is. Yeah. That it's, it's just like, it's a fucking job. Like, yeah. and, and you enjoy it. I hope. I mean, I mean I'm sure you do, but like, yeah, but you know, I mean, like, it's ultimately that's still what it is. Like, so okay, so on the day, so tomorrow, like, how long are you actually filming the scene itself? Like, like not the talking, like the actual sex part of it. Uh, maybe, maybe an hour or so. But there's like yeah. there's breaks uh because we like take sex stills in between like positions and stuff usually so i don't know i guess really? i have to find it but i feel like that's like the quickest part of it maybe so, it's that part the most but <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> take that long it's mainly like the the stuff beforehand gotcha so you're that's it i didn't know that so like whenever you're actually filming scene let's say you're doing like doggy saw or something there's a part where like you'll take a break to set up to do like the actual still shots and that's during the time i mean maybe that I may not be the right position i did today the continent 
okay mm. we did it that way but i guess in mainstream we usually shoot the shoot those parts like the the positions that we'll be in first so that we know like in our minds where what what positions to do and get those pictures out of the way and then can just do the sex but yeah so yeah. it's completely choreographed in a way oh yeah like, yeah that's oh. interesting been that's why i'm like i like doing my content because it's just sex and it's not like stuff but i yeah. mean that's what comes out though i do like like watching the scenes when they come out that's a good i was gonna ask that like do you actually do you watch yourself because you have to probably at least watch like in the beginning so like when you first started was it weird to watch yourself at the first time of like yeah. holy shit i'm actually doing this First, my first one was for Naughty America, and it's like one of my most seen, if not the most seen, um, video that I've done. And it's so embarrassing because <laughs> you can tell that I like did not know what I was doing, and like I'm really stiff and everything. So I like to watch uh, my scenes just to, I guess, because I'm paranoid and I like to like make sure that they don't look terrible and like that I'm getting better uh, yeah. or. Like, like kind of like grow from it, you know, like try to get better at least. Yeah, for sure. No, that makes sense. All, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the sex are, I like go, oh, you know, like yeah, being, but I try to. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's fascinating because I, I mean, I think it would have to be so weird to like watch yourself, but at the same time, yeah. like I'm sure you probably have a, I mean, you must have like a pretty decent amount of confidence in yourself. You know what I mean? Like just because yeah. you are putting yourself out there, like, in a, mm -hmm. you know, in a lot of ways, like physically, emotionally, mentally, like it's all, you know, putting yourself out there. Like you can't really be like a weak minded person and do that. I mean, I guess yeah. you can and it doesn't work out too well. But yeah, like were you always did you always feel that way about yourself? Like just very like kind of I know who I am. This is who I am. I don't give a fuck. Like, no, not at all. I used to really, really? thought of me and. I guess I would never have thought that I would be doing this because I'd probably be way too worried about what people thought. But I think just like working in the strip clubs and then I was doing like modeling and posting those on social media and stuff. You get like so many people talking shit, but then like you get so many more people that um, are supportive and everything. So you just like kind of learn what to focus on and what to not waste your time on. And I feel like that's what, like, the sex industry has really taught me is that, like, there's going to always be people that don't like whatever about you, whatever it is. But there's always also going to be people that do love love that. So just mainly focus on that. Yeah, that's a great way to think about it. Because like yeah. I, I've had it. I mean, I usually don't give a fuck about what people think, but it, you know, sometimes every once in a while a comment will come across that's just so well done, but it's like it hits deep, and I'm like, oh, you son of a bitch, like, <laughs> like you got me, and I try not to let that happen, so I try not to even read them. But yeah, yeah like what are there any like DMs like just like crazy shit people have said, like any that have like stuck with you, like not necessarily like in a you know emotional way, but just like of how like creative and crazy it is. You're like, holy shit. Oh, uh, what was the thing that Jazz Jasmine of all people? She the shit that she said. I was just like so taken aback because I was really trying to just be like, "Hey, you should know this kind of thing," and then to have somebody attack me for it. But she said <laughs> she she did give me a pretty funny insult. I forget what it was. It was something about uh oh uh. She said that I'm a, I'm a something piece of meat. What was it? Something piece of meat. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. Uh, a cheap piece of meat or some old piece of meat. That's what she called it. An old. old piece of meat. And then my, my girlfriend, she was like, what? She's trying to like call you what? Cause she's like an old piece of meat is like an aged steak. That's better. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Old piece of meat. Yeah. Oh, if you can see, if you like, if you Google it, there is just, cause I put it on Reddit. I was like, fuck this. Like I'm putting her on blast. So I posted it so you can see all the shit she told me. Oh my God, that was crazy. But no, usually, usually it's just like, uh, I did have somebody on, on Twitter actually. This is a good one. He um, would not get out of my DMs about 
fucking a specific person. And like, he would like post like all, for all these girls, all kinds of girls that are in the industry. Like he really wanted them working with this guy and like would basically harass us and make us look like we're, or try to make us look like we're like racist because we're not shooting with a Latina guy or whatever. I messaged the guy, I was like, dude, I've worked with like two other, and I, I was planning on working with this guy anyway, but he explained to me, he was like, oh, I never see, like there's not enough Latinas in porn or whatever. So I got to jack off to some, <laughs> some other, I don't know, it was weird. But I was like, okay, that's probably something that I'm never going to forget is that guy. In arms. That's amazing. Because also, it's not your fault. Like, it's not like you're standing out by the door being like, fuck, no, you can't come in. Like, yeah. like I mean, what exactly. control do you have over yeah. who gets to be in porn? That's. I tried saying that, too. And he's like, I've heard that excuse. Probably because he's like saying the same stuff. to yeah. everyone. And oh, maybe like- because it's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I, I mean. I don't think they're handing you a sheet and saying which of these people should be allowed in porn. Like yeah. I may be wrong, but I get, I get the person that I'm going to shoot with the like day before or whatever I find out. So <laughs> have you ever had to tell them no, like fuck that. I ain't shooting with him. Like uh, we have, we have a thing called a no list where like, if you mm-hmm. worked with somebody and had a bad experience or something or, or you just don't want to work with the person, you can put them on your no list. Oh, so that's on a note because I know about like the no list. I didn't know that's on that too. I thought it was just like the positions and stuff that you don't want to do. Or like, I don't uh, do anal. I don't do this. No, if I don't want to work with somebody, I put them on my no list. That's that's only happened once though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Are there, are there any so you know not people and stuff, but like any th- like what are some of the things that are on your no list? Like of like not the person or anything like that, but that's another thing that I get harassed about that I don't do anal, and I'm like, dude, it's my body, like I can do what I want, and that's like am- harassing me about anal isn't going to get me to do anal. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. That is amazing that people harass you because you don't do anal. <laughs> yeah, people have a weird sense of entitlement. Yes, and they're the free it- too. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, it's just so it's so bizarre to me. Like the way, yeah, I don't know people. The way people's minds work is just or don't work is just endlessly fascinating. Like, <laughs> is there a like a fetish or a kink that is popular or somewhat popular that you just don't get? Like you don't get why people like it. Oh, there's a lot of um, but well, I don't uh, mean like scat and stuff like that. I mean like oh, you okay. know. Like thinking yeah. Of, uh, yeah, like no, 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 no. I mean, like <clears throat> more of like a vanilla. I mean, not vanilla, but like. So for me, I've said it multiple times or a lot, but like feet, like a feet foot uh, fetish does nothing for me. There is no pair of feet in this world that I've ever been like, holy shit, look at those feet. But like, is there something like that for you? And that's like the number one fetish. You know that, right? Uh, I know, and there's yeah. a lot of reasons why I kind of start to lose, like faith in people that's yeah. one of them it's like you all like this like every one of you seem to lo- be into people's feet I'm like yeah. it's just not a thing for me like yeah you know and i'm not against feet i'm not gonna be like ooh, <laughs> don't touch me with your feet but like yeah just but not turn you on. yeah fuck no um i don't know give me some examples i'm trying to uh, so one that I found out about that's actually like super popular is like people like fucking with balloons, like popping balloons and shit uh, like that. Yeah, I don't get it, but I would do it. Yeah, I mean, you can still do it. I just mean like, oh. yeah, well, have you ever eaten food off of someone or had someone eat food off of you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. I think that's sexy. Do you? See, that's why I was kind of curious. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'd eat. I mean, maybe. Like, I'd probably eat a. I'd eat some candy corn out of like someone's ass or something for Halloween. Maybe I mean, it, it could not possibly make it taste worse. So yeah. So hardcore. I was thinking of like whipped cream on my tits or something. <laughs> oh, I jumped, I jumped the gun real hard on that one then. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about putting like a, you know, like a carrot up someone's ass for Easter or something. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, whipped cream off of a nipple. Like, I guess that ain't gonna hurt nobody. Or like, or something. Yeah, like. Yeah, is that what you've done? Like oh, the, for the like 
worst of the worst. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah. I mean, putting the worst tasting candy of all time up someone's ass is <gasps> candy corn. You don't like candy corn? Uh, no, I don't. <gasps> How could you? I love candy corn. <laughs> oh, God. I like really? Interview over. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, oh, my internet's uh, down. Yeah, that's really, you like candy corn. Uh, I love candy corn. Oh, what about peeps? No. Oh, yeah. I don't, yeah. Licorice? Uh, I like like Twizzlers, if that counts. No, I like licorice. I mean, no, black licorice is disgusting. No, I'm not 95 years old. I'm not eating black <laughs> licorice. <laughs> I wasn't in World War uh, One or Two, so yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's a Great Depression candy. Yeah, I'm not eating that shit. Like, <laughs> what about your... speaking of Great Depression candy? What about what? Werther's is good though. I'll t I'll take a Werther's. <laughs> Look, I I almost like went to church as a kid just to get my hands on some Werther's. So there was always some old lady that had Werther's. And I was like, I would just go around looking for candy. It was basically Halloween for me, which is a weird way to put it. But yeah, that's a, uh, what's your favorite? Okay. So this is, if you're on a road trip, you stop at a gas station and you're getting snacks for the road trip. What are two things that you are guaranteed that you're going to get in that gas station? Oh, this is. Now everyone will know I'm have a terrible eater, but Mountain Dew <laughs> and, and Snickers. Mountain Dew and Snickers. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's... Or, <laughs> or what? Or a Red Bull. Jesus Christ. I mean, the, uh, yeah, the Red Bulls are, I mean, I'm kind of with you. I mean, I don't drink Red Bull because, I mean, if I smell coffee, I feel like I'm having a fucking panic attack. Um but yeah, oh man, a, a Mountain Dew and a fucking Snickers. That's a good one. I'm pretty sure that's what killed Kirsty Alley, which <laughs> oh, anyways. But yeah, that's a, yeah, I go, um, you know, and people don't like this and people I'm sure will be shitting on me for this, but I love Hershey's cookies and cream bars. I haven't had them, so I can't shit up. Uh, you know what I'm talking about though? The ones that are like white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. The, uh, I feel like that would be good. They are good, but a lot of people do not like those. But yeah. enough people must like them because they fucking make them. Um, uh, they make peeps. <laughs> people like peeps. I'm telling you, I know a, I know a few people who fucking love peeps. And <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely look at them differently. <laughs> like, that's that's what you like, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I go um, those and then like a Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is always oh. the... Yeah, 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 not a Mountain Dew. My God, Mountain Dew. That's a original or like Code Red or any of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. It looks <laughs> like, like if you ever pour it into like a clear cup, it looks like you like drained out a highlighter. Yeah. Like that, which that can't be good. No, no yeah. definitely not good. But it's so, it tastes so good. <laughs> yes, which is worth it. And I think, I mean, you only live once. You might as well chug down a couple of Mountain Dews every once in a while. They Mine. do a ton of flavors though. Now that you mention it, they have like a they're like a cereal where like cereal like has like so many weird flavors now. And there's yeah. Mountain Dews. It's like calm down, just keep with the original. See, okay, and and I'm with you because Dr Pepper's doing this bullshit. They're doing like a, a coconut one, and then there's like a fucking um, strawberries and cream one. Like. Dr. Pepper didn't go to fucking 12 years of medical school for you to be <laughs> mixing up this stuff like this. Like, eh, no, like that, that fucker's rolling over in his grave right now. Fucking that coconut one is, it tastes it's like cough fun. syrup. There's a coconut one. It's so fucking gross. And I'm a, kind like, of a fan. Of, huh? Like, what does it taste like? Like cough syrup. Yeah. yeah. I'll never forget. I was at uh, the sausage castle. Do you know about that? The sausage club? Mike Is that a strip club? No. No. <laughs> that would be a great name. No, it's just Mike Busey has this like his it's like where he lives, but it's like a big party house and like Okay. Uh anyway, he he's got like a um vending machine inside of it. And I went to get a I went to get a Coke. I think it was a Coke. It might have been a Dr. Pepper. No, I think it was a Coke. And 
I'm like drunk, so I'm not all there. I get my Coke, I take a big squig and I'm like, oh, and I like spit it out everywhere. It was Coke with cinnamon. I'm like, who oh. the fuck <laughs> made this? Oh. Now, yep. you know what? I don't think the taste would be necessarily that bad. It's just you don't want to be surprised with cinnamon. Uh, yeah, no, it was. Like, and yeah. then, God, actually, it oh. was. It's like Fireball. <laughs> Have you ever had Fireball? I I'm love sure it. you have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've almost lost my left foot because of drinking so much Fireball. Um, yeah, that's what I imagine it tastes like. Yeah. But I could be wrong. So I have a few before. I mean, I know we're running on uh, a little short on time. So I got a few random just bullshit questions that okay. I always ask. Childhood celebrity crush. Uh, it's not. Oh, okay. Childhood is Will Smith, but like recently, but not anymore. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Why not anymore? I don't know. I'm just over him. <laughs> oh, damn. He's going to be devastated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's... If he showed up in my bed, I wouldn't complain. But <laughs> well, shit, neither would I, to be honest. I'll, I'll take one for the team. But yeah. Yeah. Mom was Carmen Electra. Oh yeah, mine, which yeah. I think was probably everybody's. Carmen Alexa, Lil Kim, Lil Kim was up there too. Yeah, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, this is interesting. What's a f your favorite non-traditional smell? Not so, so something you wouldn't necessarily see like in a candle. Gasoline. Oh my God, you are amazing. I mean, you kind of lost me for a second with the Mountain Dew thing, to be honest. Uh, won me right back. Oh, yeah. gas. You know, it doesn't smell like that anymore. Like, have you ever noticed that? Yeah. Like it yeah. it yeah. doesn't have that smell anymore. Because trust me, I've taken some big whiffs to try to find out. Yeah. That's really weird. I've never realized that. Like, I never noticed. Like, it's it's there's a little bit. It's like a faint smell, yeah. but it doesn't have that. Oh, yeah, gasoline. <laughs> Which I think my love for smelling gasoline might explain a lot of things, actually. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, that's... Uh, what was your first concert? Skunk, too. Huh? I love the smell of skunk, too. Like an actual skunk or like skunk like, like weed? Like an actual skunk or skunk weed. I don't like the smell of weed, but I like the smell of skunk weed, whatever that is. I'm kind of with you. I think there is kind of like an interesting... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm with you. At first, I was going to judge you a little bit, just to be honest. But I don't think I am anymore. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Good. Yeah, you won me over without even doing anything. So that's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. What was your first concert? The Strokes. Oh, that's a good one. I yeah. I still love them to this day. It was a good concert. Yeah, that's a that's a hell of a first one. Yeah. Damn. What was your favorite TV show as a kid? Uh, I really loved this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a big, going back to the mill thing, uh, Marge Simpson. That was always my, yeah. Oh, don't tell me you watch Marge Simpson porn. <laughs> I have before. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just out of curiosity, because I was like, what the fuck? Because it's always in the ads. Like, they always <laughs> yeah. show, like, the Simpsons family got all that stuff. So, naturally, you know, got a little curious. I was like, oh, let me see what this is. Yeah, right. Simpson one was just always kind of a thing for me. I don't know. All right. And then last question. What is a, what's the game show you think you would do the best on? Mm. Game show. Yeah. Like a price is right. Deal or no I'm deal. Horrible at that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, what's the one with, uh, with the guy? Oh my God. What's his name? <sighs> Where they like, you like finish, you like answer what you think other people's answers are. Match family, game. Family feud. Oh, family feud. Oh, <laughs> family feuds are great. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 If, if they ever do like a porn family feud. Oh my God. That would be, I mean, I was, you would think that it's already happened before, but apparently maybe yeah. not. Yeah. That's a good one. Well, Look, this has been a fucking blast. I've had a great time talking with you. Same. No, I'm glad. I'm glad. So before we go, one more time, like where can people find you? Plug, promote, anything. I am on Instagram, Lindsay Ryder Backup. 
I'm on Twitter, LindsayXXX, and I'm on OnlyFans, Lindsay Ryder.